And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Wait, of course I'm Prince. Why wouldn't I? Of course. The Prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. By the way, greetings. Welcome to Fable 3. So called the worst fable. of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes. One's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. 
An exquisite ensemble, if I may say so. Lady Elise is sure to find you most dashing in it. The staff may be reassured by the lack of ostentatiousness in these clothes. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Okay, if you say so, Jasper. Ooh. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. Bye, Jasper. <laughs> My prince. Prince. Okay. Well. I'm very sorry about the Come on. The Glowing Trail. I will turn it off soon. Maybe now. Why can I whistle? At your service. Oh I can just whistle. What? Let's get this done now. I don't do we need Okay, what? Let's. It's not here, right? Yeah, let's try doing this without the trail. This is certainly not the first time I'm playing the game. Hello, Prince. But well met, my lord. Oh, it's the last game, right? But having the trail on usually makes you go straight for the quest How are you, my instead of walking around like you used to in First Fable. Am I? I am. Night, have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy, you'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Well, I'm not gonna kiss you. I don't want you to think you're something else and dear friend to me. It's easy to misunderstand this kind of affection. How's that? I suppose you'll have to do. <sighs> of course. I never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. Oh. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. Staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Okay. Okay. Everyone's waiting for you, sorry. <laughs> They could th now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. <sighs> but sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. No wonder he's tired. He wor he's working he's against the re revolution. He'll be Did you know? I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. No. Oh. <gasps> the chicken is alive! And still he cannot run away? Okay. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. 
Hello. Okay, there you go. Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. Staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's be. Let's be a nice guy. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. We have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? No. You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> It was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. Who are you? Tell him what to do. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. If you say so. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Yeah, it did, and they will see nothing. So, Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. You sly fox, you just don't want to sign. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. Okay, lead the way, Walter. Courageous move. Thank you. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. Oh, I'm ready, all right. Grab a sword. What the hell? I never noticed that painting. Uh... Okay. That's Remember the stories I tell you when you were a child of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, you remember what you would say. Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! Come on! Strike me! As hard as I can, you say. Whoa. Nope. Strike me now! Oh. So it uh, it's done. Think of me as an enemy. Strike! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? But listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. Who are you to walk fre freely around the castle? By yourself? They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I 
should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. If you insist. And let's get there before anyone sees us. Whoa. Oh. I think this is the biggest castle in Fable so far. It might change in Fable 4. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friends to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. I'm going. <clears throat> Leave her alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned. Where it belongs. Punish me then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. Each time I see this scene, her face is weirder and weirder. Okay, don't worry. I don't want to die. Please. This can't be. I know this isn't easy, but you have to choose me. Oh, I will. Don't you? Don't worry. It's it is fairly easy. Take the girl away. Kill her now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. Yeah, but over dramatic. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think any of us realize just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. 
We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas. Come on. Come on, Jasper. But <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I shall follow you wherever fate. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. Maybe. By the way, what happened to my parents? There is something rather sinister about this garden of night. Oh. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. Oh, of course, I'm the one to open the door. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. You sound awfully sinister, well. Talking about that. your father in his greatest triumph but you have an even greater destiny ahead of you the seal awoke at your touch as it would at no one else's this means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders before you lies the path you were born to take and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule like all heroes you will face many trials but you cannot pass through these gates alone you will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends. Jasper, who will serve you always. And Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, say that earlier. Matt seems... Since I'm gonna be a good ruler, I will do only good missions only. And oh, sorry. good missions and only good demon gates those that I can use because I doubt I will get to 
open the one which requires another player. Do you, do you feel any different? I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> Of course it did. <laughs> what narrow, isn't it? Dark too. You never did care for confined spaces, did you, supporter? I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What mm. Oh dear, I seem to have struck a nerve. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, and plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I don't know, it reminds me of something created in Minecraft. <laughs> I don't know why. Not that I mind. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies, and lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you, and many of them will be willing to fight. But they need a leader, someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. That would be awfully long jump, wouldn't it? Okay, and can we sprint? Cannot. Oh, that's interesting. I feel bad for killing bats. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. That's are just the beginning. Okay, now if I remember correctly, we are supposed to go left, yeah, at the golden door. I never actually opened those, so I might try to do it if the golden key is not somewhere in the beginning of the game. Then we will find it. Another impressive display, sir. To think. This morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for work. Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. You might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Very well. Okay, there was nothing there. Oh. Um. Give me something. Thank you. Why? Why? Oh, why are you all the way there? Okay, we are already one fifth the way. Yeah, we're already one fifth of the way to get the wizard's revenge. Not the safest place for us right now, but we should be able to find a way out of the city. Once this is the way out. Service. 
I'm just wondering whether there was some chesty. No, there was none. And actually, this is the game where where the first game where I learned about chest the existence of a chesty. It appears to be a dead end. This, it, this, this is the first fable game for me. I'm pretty sure it's a colour gate. Sort of magical transportation system for heroes. I was under the impression the colour gates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left at least. Your father must have placed this one here in case he ever needed to use it. It's the same symbol that we saw by the tomb. Do you suppose it's activated in the same way? Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what to do. You mean cast an inferno? Because I held it for so long. Pretty anticlimactic. If I dare so say my if I dare say so myself. Sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. No, I mean. With your name on it. Look, that's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. Okay. And what do you want to know about heroes? And this place? The map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. What was that sound? Okay, never mind. I, it's, I think there are some bugs around here. But before we interact with the map, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye, stop that.